Lul, look how the how he branded the atomic alloy. Face it. Was yeah, it, it was, yeah, it was a collaboration yeah. with Face It. So, so the way the early That's workshop worked, Face It reached out to a lot of creative people and uh, basically asked if they can support them uh, making tournaments because Face It was a really small company, like very few people worked there. It was very new. So this is how Face It actually started. It wasn't just Face It as well. It was like ESEA and there was like ESA a sort of like an ESL one as well. Huh? ESL and um, ESCA failed big time, but yeah, Face It got uh, quite a lot of skins accepted. You see, there is a Face It actually contributed created by and you have a face it what yeah. wait i'm hella confused face it hired Coridium or what what happened here no 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 basically imagine you are creator and face it was like basically they you're wanna... there promoting your skin uh, in exchange for uh, something you know and money because they're a new company you know that's how you do stuff it's it's a cool it's a cool gun and uh, we all knew about that in the beginning you know everyone knew that it's just like 2000 and what 14 so. I've never heard about this. Just Can you show an Azea skin where Azea contributed? Uh, go, to face it. go to a face it account and then type slash my workshop. Ah, oh, there you go. There's 28 skins, you see. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. What? Like, a lot of people did uh, contribute with uh, face it. It's the only skin they have. <laughs> uh, oh, never yeah, mind. Uh, Jesus. Hä? Huh? Face it skin? I never knew about this. That's face it contributor. Orange. And face it is getting paid. They have the key. They have the prototype key, right? Unlucky. Here you go, there's a uh, ESCA one in the uh, Discord. It's all green, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, do they have a skin in the actual game? LUL! Also, Coridium, uh, uh, he worked for them a lot. <laughs> yeah, because he was one of the first guys ever, you know? Like, everyone from here, or this chat at least, we all play the game. Like, uh, play a seaside map, you know, he giving headshots, and this guy was making skins. <laughs> how, would you, how would you rate this skin? <laughs> the <laughs> Isaiah <Isaiah-op? laughs> Actually, 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 this was peak back then. This was, yeah, this was sick when it came out it's in, like, peak. 2014. No shot. Someone asks, but, better and white question mark? Lul. Yeah, soon, soon. The official Isaiah Opsis go skin. Thank you for your support. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Imagine Jesus. playing face it with a ESCA gun. Hey. And also, ESL collection, I can find that one. Oh, yeah. That's hey, insane. Oh. Chat, did you know about this? I never had a... I, I didn't know face it as a contributor on the skin. They have a prototype key. They have a prototype yeah, case yeah. key. Yes, That's yeah. insane. Like, I remember yes, just seeing eh? this stuff back in, back in the day, and I was like, what, you know, what is this? Okay, this is not cool. There is no contributor on this thing. ESL yeah, it's just like this thing. But it says it's, yeah, actually, it was designed by an ESL guy, it says. ESL yeah, is proud to present its ESL, very first uh, Cisco skin. The ESL collection 2014 designed by ESL graphics artist Victor Schenk. Uh, let me tell you something you maybe didn't know also. The very first ever skin like ever skin tested by counter strike was a purple slaughter m4 silence what do you mean the very first skin that ever got created very very first like not in game but like created on workshop like the show it test show whole. the link yeah i will post a picture just to protect it what do you mean i'm not sure that. i'll just give you a picture of the gun I continue speaking because i need some uh, like five pen five minutes what do you mean to protect I don't want uh, this guy like to get outed by people, you know. I just wanna post a screenshot because okay. he's a dev, you know. Ah, he's a dev. Yeah. The very first skin on the workshop. That's insane. Jesus. Wait. It was Jesus. a yes. slaughter and for. T Rex has ESL added. Oh yeah. T Rex is in the business. It's crazy. What is this? Oh, Dota. Oh yeah. Basically, back then, uh, Dota artists just like crushed the workshop. Like it was insane. Bro, what is ESL doing? Uh, Only face it yeah. got skins in. Isea, no shot. ESL, no shot. Face it pulling through. Do any of these uh, skin creators have a prior art career? Good question. What about you guys? Uh, some, yes. I think most of the new ones that come into CS now are, are always like super talented. They have lots of art stuff. But a lot of the people that started early obviously just played CS and then maybe they were working on it a bit on the side and stuff like that. Me personally, at least, I... Uh, I just, you know, self-taught, so no no art career or anything. And I think a lot of people from, like, 2014 and 2013 are the same as well. It's removed, okay. Uh, but, yeah, it was uh, just a fun, fun fact. Yeah, nothing major. Removed? Yeah, because uh, it is a dev, you know, submission Fuck. just to test the whole, whole system. Is there no screenshot? No. I may be fine, uh, but, yeah. Oh, just screenshot would like, be amazing, uh, man. You, you know the M4 Dark Water? Yeah. Basically, it's slaughter, right? M4 wanna slaughter. Uh, no, no, it's a Dark Water. Uh, but the texture is slaughter, right? Yeah. Wait, what, really? Dark. I didn't even know that. Yeah, dark water is slaughter, yeah. So basically imagine uh, dark water in a purple color. So that's how it looked. Damn, that's crazy. 